Today in Google Sheets, we're going to combine data from multiple tabs with just one formula. So in my example right here, I have four different tabs with different data that I want to combine in this master sheet right here. And I'm going to do that with the query function. So let's get started. Put in your equal sign, type in query. There we go. And now a curly bracket. So we can now select the range that we want to combine. Go to your first tab or sheet right here. That's first quarter. And now we're going to select the range that we want to combine. So in selecting my range right here, I won't be adding our headers because in my master sheet, I already have them. So no need to include that. That's going to be the first range. And I'm going to be adding a semicolon to separate the ranges. Let's go to our next tab, which is the second quarter. Again, just select your range like so. No need to add the headers if you already have them. Semicolon, third quarter, select your range, semicolon, and the last one. There you have it. Now we're going to close it off with a curly bracket, comma. And now we put in select all, open quotation marks, type in select, asterisk for select all, closing quotations, and your closing parentheses. Press enter. And there you have it. You combined all the data from your four different tabs right here in this master sheet. Now, in any case that these tabs are going to be updated in the future, what you're going to do to make sure that those data will be included would be to change your range and make it an open ended cell reference. So we're going to delete the last number for each range. So in quarter one, A2 to E8, I'm going to remove the eight at the end. Same for the second one, remove the 9, the 7, and the 10. If we press enter, here we have our combined data, but now it has also included all the empty cells in your range. And a quick fix to this would be to just add the sort function in the beginning of your formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our formula. Before query, we're going to put in sort. Well, now what the sort function will do will be to make sure that all the empty cells within your range will be after all the non-empty cells. So if we press enter, there you have it. We have our data in alphabetical order and all those empty cells will be at the bottom. So if I do add something in, let's say, quarter number one, let's see if it will be added into our master sheet. And there you have it at the top, automatically updating our master sheet. And there you have it. That's how to combine data from multiple tabs with just one formula. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.